hello everyone thank you for tuning in and today's recipe i will be showing you how i cook catfish pepper soup i am rosie and you are welcome to my kitchen so here is the catfish i'll be using and i'm going to be cutting this fish off camera and the fish is nicely cut it's time to clean the fish and to that i'll be using salt and lemon i'll cut the lemon and squeeze the lemon over the fish you can use lime you can use vinegar as well this will help take out the sliminess from the fish and it will also help cut down the strong smell of fish as well and i will use my hand to rub the fish wash it one after the other I will rinse the salt and the lemon of the fish. Next, pour hot water over the fish. And this will help the fish to stay firm. The fish will not flake while cooking it. I'll be leaving it in there for about two to five minutes. Then I'll take it back to the sink and then strain out the fish so this is what pepper soup spices looks like you can also get the blended ones to buy I like to make it by myself each time I want to make pepper soup so here I got onions ginger the ginger is optional scotch bonnet i'm using parsley if you're watching me from nigeria you can use scent leaf i'll be pairing mine with plantain and this is optional as well so here i have salt and seasoning cube i'm going to be toasting the pepper soup spices for about a minute on medium to low heat this will help release more of the flavor from the spices and this step is optional as well so you want to do it on a low heat so they don't get burnt so once that is done take it off the pan right away to stop the cooking process and allow it to cool down and I'm going to take out some of the alligator pepper, which I did not toast with the rest. And I'm using just a little bit of those because the alligator pepper is very, very spicy. And the African nutmeg, I will use a nut cracker to crack it to take off the chef. I will be repeating this process until I am done. I will use a dry grinder to blend the pepper soup spices and I'm not blending the uda, I'll be using it just like that. Uda seed is a little bit bitter, so if you are blending it, you may want to take out the seed. They also sell the ones that don't contain seed as well, you can look out for those and I'll put that aside. I will use this crusher to crush the pepper, onions, and ginger. And you can also slice them as well. And this is the texture I am going for. And I'll be peeling and cutting the plantains. 
adding plantains is totally optional you can use yam you can use potato you can enjoy your pepper soup with rice and you can enjoy your pepper soup without adding any of those things i just called as well is totally all to you and this plantain here is not completely ripe it's just 10 percent ripe and that is how i want it cut to your desire size i'll transfer the plantains inside the pot adding some water add some salt and i will cover and transfer it to the stove top to cook for about five minutes until the plantain is about 50 percent cooked the plantains are 50 percent cooked now i will add in the fish and i will not be using the fish head for this recipe i will save that for a different recipe so when making fish pepper soup you want to use pot that is wide so you can move the fish around without breaking the fish i will add in the blended pepper onions and ginger and i'll be using half of the eden fruit i showed earlier on i'll add that as well add season cube add the pepper soup spices and i measured it that is two tablespoons and you can also use less and i will add the udder at this point add more water to it i will stir so fish doesn't take time to cook and the plantains is half done already i will cover and leave it to cook on medium to low heat for about 15 to 20 minutes and this is 15 minutes later and then i will give it a quick stir at this point you can taste and adjust for seasoning if needed and the fish did not scatter everything is intact i'll be finishing it up with the parsley if you are using scent leaves, you can add it at this point. And once the vegetable is in there, we'll turn off the stove. You can enjoy your fish pepper soup any time of the day. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel if you are not already. Thank you all so much for watching. Remain blessed. I will see you in my next video. Bye.